in the wintertime, people always go, what do you do at Aquascape in the wintertime? First off, we always have the Aquascape Academy. Uh, January, February, March, even into April, we're doing the Aquascape Academy. The other thing about it is we do trade shows. So this is a show for landscape contractors. Our goal with this show is to find new customers, get people into the water feature industry so that we can educate people on the proper way to do water features. The ecosystem approach to water features. Right, Ed, so I got you perfectly framed with the butterfly in the background. <laughs> so what are you going to be doing here for this group? So we're going to be talking about the main elements, earth, wind, fire, and water, and how that's important in a well-designed landscape. So we're going to start here at the ILCA booth. From here, we're going to walk on over to fire gear. We go to Midwest Trading. Midwest Trading actually makes our alluvial soil. That's the soil that we use for aquatic planting, which is really, really cool. Normally found in nature, they have replicated that stuff. We're then going to go to Rinders, who's actually one of our distributors. We're going to talk about rainwater capture, sustainable water usage, fountains, and from there we go to central irrigation to talk about efficient water usage. And then we end up back at the Aquascape booth where we talk about decorative water. Wait, how much are you getting paid for this? <laughs> My name is Ed Ballou, I am with Aquascape. I've been designing and building water features since 1993. Uh, I have designed and built features all over the world. I have over 2,000 projects under my belt. I've worked on multiple different continents, every major city in the United States. It's been an incredible journey. My background is actually in aquatic biology. So talking about water is very easy to me. It is the most important compound on planet Earth. We're gonna head on out. We're gonna go visit some of these other booths. Does that sound good? Yes. Have fun, Eddie. <laughs> so proud to have. We do these shows all over the country, trade shows, we do seminars. So right over here is our booth. Really captures the lifestyle. I think it's fantastic. There's Tavia, who's our tech agent, one of our tech agents, and then Brad, who's a regional territory sales guy. And uh, look at, here's our stack sl uh, slate spheres. Look at how beautiful that is. Uh, our new landscape lighting that we have for the outside. And then it just really talks about all of the ways that you can get into this industry and then talking to new consumers for uh, the water feature business. So anyway, this is what we do. This is what Aquascape does in the off season to grow, promote and grow the business. We want to get new contractors in, but primarily we want to get guys in doing ponds done right, customers serve right, and shows like this help us. Very proud of Ed being able to do his walkabout. And uh, that's it, over and out from a cold, minus 24 degrees Chicago. Are you holding out on me? Hey, what's up everybody? I am at our corporate headquarters called Aqualand. We are in St. Charles, Illinois, and I am looking at our spectacular water feature. It is a little frozen over right now. Here is our signature waterfall. You can't even really hear it running, but you can see the effects of all that water kind of bubbling up from underneath there. Looks spectacular in the winter time, and just look at all the snow drifts and everything. Looks really, really cool. But during the winter time, we travel around a little bit, and we also uh, catch up on some other projects. And that's what I'm gonna show you right now. So hold on a second, and I will show you what we have going on here. So we're constantly getting drawings, designs, concepts in from contractors, designers, homeowners, you name it, from around the world. Uh, so what I'm doing right now, midwinter, trying to catch up on a few of these things. So I'm gonna show you a few of these projects, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a walk down and we're gonna meet up with the dynamic duo of Tavia and Heather. They are in charge of our technical department, and they are really the ones that are have their feet in the on the ground. They are doing this on a daily basis, 365 days a year, but I get a little bit of a break because I'm out in the field quite a bit. So here's one of those, uh, actually here's two of those projects that I'm talking about. 
This one is gonna be a waterfowl pond. Contractor showed me some of the elevations that they have, so they do have a little bit of a slope kind of coming across this. Pretty good size. It's gonna be loaded up with different types of uh, decorative geese. But what's unique about it is they not only wanna have this thing designed and built, but um, because they're kind of up in the mountains, you can kind of see here, it's all frozen up right now, is here, they actually have an orchard that they're planting. So what my thought process is, is to use some of this water, uh, run it through our wetland filter. So I'm doing a little bit of a sketch over here of some wetland filters, run all that water through the wetland filter, and then utilize all those dissolved nutrients and everything inside of that orchard, which is really cool. And then this other project, a little bit bigger scale. This is in a commercial location. This pond is 600 by 150 series of waterfalls coming down. So so now with that said, let's go take a walk down. All right, heading over by uh, Tavi and Heather, and their little spot is right over here. Hey. How are you? Good. We've got a couple cool projects. Let me grab a seat. We brought you your favorite graph oh. paper, eraser, <laughs> and pencil. So I know you have a bunch of drawings probably as well, because yeah. we're getting them constantly. But I have a couple that recently popped up, I guess, on my radar. And what do you two look for when a drawing comes in? So when a drawing comes into the tech department, um, you're getting drawings from people around the world. Right. Contractors, designers, architects, homeowners, whoever's doing a project, they're going to send you something. But what do you need to do to help them? One of the things that really helps us when looking at a drawing is understanding the scope of the project. Okay. Is this a residential? Is this a commercial? What is the customer's end goal? Optimal water quality or something maybe a little bit more rustic, a little bit natural? And starting to get an idea of budget, especially with larger projects, we need to know, as Brian has said, are we doing a $50,000 backyard or right. is this a $10,000 backyard? And we can get very excited about backyard waterfall landscape fountain kits or larger projects, but we need an idea it um, uh, totally budget. makes sense, and I think you kind of hit it right on the head. So, with those two things that uh, the things that are sticking out to me, this one customer up in the mountains, kind of building a rustic retreat for him and his friends, hunting, fishing, that type of thing. They're not looking for incredible water quality. Okay. They don't need to swim in it, but they're going to have geese in here. Ooh. They want to have something decent, though. They want to protect the water. They want to use that water on site. They don't have electric you know they don't have power out there well water etc so we want to be smart with all that water it's also in a very dry area so we want to try to utilize that water as much as possible pump the good water into the pond recirculate it keep it clean and then we'll take irrigation out of that to water the orchards and the surrounding farms oh. and everything so we're really reusing all that but water quality doesn't have to be perfect versus this guy this is a commercial feature this one currently is designed for all concrete but what's interesting, uh, and at all concrete, this is 10 plus million dollars. Ridiculous. There's not one bidder because no one wants to touch it because it'll probably fail. It's going to be a nightmare. So what we want to do is kind of come up with a plan where we could do wetland filtration. So I started doing, you know, a couple little sketches here of some of our wetland filters and things like that that we could tuck into some of these different pools mm -hmm. to deliver really good water quality. This is one of those highly public area has to be pristine. So a lot of different things, which is exactly what you're talking about, understanding that scope of the project. So once you understand the scope, what else do you need, um, you know, to help put some stuff together? So it doesn't have to be fancy. It okay. can be a simple drawing. I mean, this is a beautiful rendering, but this is one we've gotten before in the past. Okay, yes. I can see which way water goes. And then they actually gave me a Google Earth so oh, I can get a good nice. vision of where the property is. Because when I looked at this, you know, you see this waterfall, but when I look at it in relation to the house, I realize the waterfall is traveling away from Going the backwards. house, which would normally be opposite of what mm -hmm. we'd like to do. Yep. So if you have all the information that you need, how long will it typically take? And I guess, are they asking for rock calculations, that type of stuff? Right. I mean, is it that intensive? It can be everything. Okay. If it is a full product, you know, design, specking out, we'll typically say three days. Okay. Palmas basins. Pumps are really quite quick. Usually we can take care of them on the phone at the same time. It depends on the season and what who's in front. Is there a charge for this? Yeah, so okay. a full quote is usually about $100 an hour. Mm -hmm. CACs, that cost to be reimbursed. That's great, so one of the benefits of being part of the CAC yep. program. Absolutely. Awesome. There are a lot of different things. Um, unfortunately, we don't have the time to go through all those different things today. What we're gonna do, the three of us are gonna continue sitting down here talking, laying out exactly what all these different projects are gonna need 
but this is going to take us the rest of the afternoon and unfortunately we don't have time to do all of that on cameras but what i wanted to do was kind of showcase what we do how we do it why we do it uh Tavia, heather up to their eyeballs and drawings quotes troubleshooting etc getting all this information out there we also have a design build aspect as well where we may get some of these projects like this one not only specify all the different products but we might actually travel out there to build it so these are just some of those things that we're doing from a research standpoint so one of the unique things about aquascape we have lots of experience we've been designing and building water features since our inception so we have all of the information all of the knowledge on how this stuff works and we could assist people in a variety of ways so i appreciate your help if you like this stuff please like comment subscribe let us know your thoughts we'll see you soon